I am back and I have the, um, the pleasure of introducing our next speaker, uh, Bjarna Bergwig. Um, he has been a top practitioner and uh, teacher of leadership in Norway for more than the last 20 years. He is one of the most practical experienced management and leadership coaches in Europe, and he is the author of several books on management quality. Bjarna has a unique background uh, as an industrial skilled worker, a soldier, a union leader, a sportsman, a local parliament member, an industrial manager, and a cluster facilitator. And all of those things combined make him a real expert in developing learning communities. He is an internationally known speaker at conferences in Norway, Europe, the US, Singapore, and China. And his most recent book is titled Lean, Leadership for Learning Organizations. And in 2019, he and several partners uh, founded a, um, from different countries, developed a really remarkable uh, institute for learning organizations. And uh, above and beyond all of what I just said, he is an amazing human and a dear friend, and it is his birthday today. So happy birthday, Bjarna. We're very grateful that you are here to share some of your time with us today. So it is my pleasure to introduce Bjarna Bergwig. Thank you. Thank you for having me and uh, thank you for the greeting. Um, so I think uh, you can see my slides now. It's okay, yes. Laura? Yeah. Yep. Um, what I'm going to talk about today is uh, a concept called obeya. Um, and obeya is just a Japanese word for big room. Um, but I discovered, I uh, have do so, done some, uh, some research on, on Obeya, and I think uh, that is uh, one of the answers how to frame and develop system thinking and, and system thinkers. So just a little bit about me. I'm, uh, as you said, I'm working in this institute. I work as a sensei or uh, advisor. I write, this is my last three books which is uh, the last one is a lot of uh, about the DSRP and the MCL uh, system thinking. Um, yeah, and I, I do teaching uh, in this and I'm, I also practice as a farm worker because that's very, very, it's both funny and, uh, and it's also a good way to practice system thinking. I, I, I learned from uh, Derek and Laura that we could um, increase our capability of uh, adapting to the reality by practicing. So, so this is me and my wife's farm in Italy, um, where we are in six months of the year. And then we're doing uh, wood cutting, uh, picking grapes, uh, a lot of practical stuff. So actually I'm going out after this um, conference today to, to, to do some, some practical work and also to, pr to prepare something uh, wine for my guests. Okay, so <clears throat> let's start. I have called Obeya the system thinking learning cave. So I'm going to talk about the why uh, Obeya and why now and talk about uh, what we found in our Obeya research, which is pretty interesting. And finally, I will try to give you a, a kind of scaffolding. So how to, how to start with your, your own uh, Obeya. Uh, Obeya is, is, uh, is an answer because now we are it's getting rough times, really tough times. We are spending, we are using half, one and a half globe and we only have one. There's a, we are in the midst of an industrial uh, revolution, there's a pandemic, uh, elderly wave, you know, it's a lot of things going on. And then we really have to uh, have an uh, epidemic spreading a uh, positive epidemic spreading of a better thinking. So if you don't do that, and this is a vision of uh, Cabrera and also my vision, it's 7.4 billion system thinker, we are actually in, in trouble. Not the, the globe, but the, but the, the human race uh, and the, the generations to come is, is, is uh, really in trouble. So the question is, could Obeya, the learning caves spread up this this uh, positive pandemic. Uh, and what I found is this picture is interesting because Obeya is nothing new. We started at 40,000 years ago. 
painting walls in caves. And why we did that was, of course, linked to a purpose, an aim, why we did it, to try to understand, to, to, to link to food, uh, to hunting, and so forth. So Obeya is not, not it's maybe um, the learning cave uh, 5.0 or something. So we have been practicing this for, for, for thousands of thousands of years. But what um, the word Obeya comes from Toyota when they started the Lexus and the Prius produ uh, production in the, in the 80s and 90s. And <clears throat> what we found in the research was that Obeya was born uh, for the urgent need of intensive cooperation across many disciplines. When you are going to, <clears throat> to develop a new car, a new, a new system, it's a new system, an interaction between a lot of things and subsystems, and of course also linked to the social system. And the aim for, for Lexus was to, to reach the luxury market, especially in the United States. So the chief engineer, which is uh, head of the whole project, he started the first Obeya. So this Obeya, this room, uh, ensured the knowledge could be shared in an efficient and effective way. And that teamwork was integrated uh, and mistakes uh, and waste could be prevented. So Obeya was very much speed up the learning, the learning speed in the, in the Toyota production system. So they measured the, the amount of value adding time and, and, the, and the, of course the waste and found that the, when they started the Obeya, they increased the value adding time as a knowledge creation by more than 50%. And you as a students or teachers or, or manager in, in companies all over the world, you know that you're spending a lot of time to update, to send information, to read papers, so, so to, to start up the Obeya, it's a very, very uh, efficient answer to that, uh, to remove uh, the waste in, in knowledge production, knowledge creation. This is a picture that Dr. Deming was, who came into Japan in uh, around 1950 and was one of the gurus developing the quality management and the lean uh, philosophy in, in Japan. So he said, he showed this picture so what is a system, Deming said. The system is an interaction between a lot of parts. And he showed this picture of uh, uh, 140 players in, in the orchestra. And he said that the aim of, of management of using in car production or whatever is to optimize the entire system forever. So, and that was also the background for creating the Obeya. The Obeya is the interaction between different engineering, um, uh, purchasing, uh, all kinds of different functions in, in, the, in the company like Toyota. So what we found is what the three main types of, uh, of uh, Obeya. You have the strategy, leadership Obeya to, uh, to develop the whole organization. You have the typical quality management Obeya and you have also have type of how to use Obeya to, to, to design a new product and use new services. So what we also found that was very interesting, it's that behind the Obeya, the, the, uh, the Obeya room is three very, very simple rules. And the simple rules is see together, act together and learn together. We have had a lot of Obeya research and action research. This is a picture I just wanted to show you because it's from, from an amusement park in the south part of Norway. It's, it's, it's wonderful because they designed a theater within the forest uh, on a train. So you have three different stages and three different plays going on at the same time in the forest. It's a very, very, very complicated uh, uh, creation of, uh, of, uh, uh, of a theater. And the, what they found that this, without visualizing, without creating a really good Obeya room, they couldn't make that project uh, alive. So that's one example of, of a product development Obeya. So let's dive into to the scaffolding. So how, how, can we, how can we do this? How can we start an Obeya for a classroom? How can we start an Obeya for a municipality? 
for a welfare organization, for a union, for uh, any, any type of companies, uh, state-owned companies, private companies, all kinds of organizations that could benefit for starting, starting the OBEA, their own version of OBEA. The first is that we try to make a gin tonic innovation. And gin tonic, it's a lot of uh, new products and services is gin tonic innovation. Just take uh, existing things and put them together in new, and then you have a new product. So when we're talking of OBEA plus system thinking, systems mapping, and systems leadership, it's, it's the last version of the OBEA creation in the human history. Not the, not the least, but this is what we are going to dive into how to use OBEA as a part, as both a part, um, as a tool for, for uh, organization development, learning organization uh, and complex adaptive systems, but also a tool for creating system thinkers. And it's, the dynamic is something like this. You have a, the system framework, the system leadership, which is the VMCL, and then you combine it with the system thinking, uh, which is the, the cognitive rules that we have been discussing uh, a lot today. And of course, um, as we say that without systems mapping, without showing how the systems, uh, the interaction works, it's not so easy to, to understand system and also to improve systems. So this is the relation. And we come to, uh, to the VM cell, we see that uh, New knowledge is to create and develop our own um, capacity culture to do the mission to reach the vision. So we had a lot of tests on this, uh, and I'll, I'll give you some ideas on what we have learned so far. Because we have been uh, diving into Obea for uh, one, one municipality in the east part of Norway. We started an OBEA for uh, self-directed work teams in home care. <clears throat> and the, the, the aim, uh, aim of the home care is to, to keep all uh, persons to live long, good in their own homes. So we started the home care OBEA. And then uh, another part of Norway, you have this picture of a, a municipality called Gjestal, which is very typical, small size Norwegian, um, uh, small city and about 12,000 uh, inhabitants, but also 12,000 sheep because it's a it's an agricultural uh, municipality. And they have this started to develop the people health obea. They are started to work on on the whole obea for the whole municipality. Um, and we are now in 14 days from now. We are starting a new obea here in Piemonte in Italy uh, with our. Uh, good friends and neighbors uh, in a winery called Vinicola Arno. And this is going to, I'm going to show you uh, how we are thinking about this. And also we are starting uh, Obeya in my old company, Yara International, which is uh, one of the biggest uh, fertilizer uh, uh, and chemical pr uh, production in, in, in the world. Uh, all old company, uh, one, all, almost 100 years old uh, in Norway. So they are starting up Obea in, um, in the, both in the production and also in, in, the, in the product development. So when you think about the Obea scaffolding, so you can think about the room with four walls, but, but of course in this uh, world, it's not uh, on the wall, but in Toyota, it's very, very typical, a physical room. But when you talk about the municipality, for example, they are thinking about the, the using touch screens, uh, monitors, a lot of different tools, and a, even combination with a kind of hybrid with wallpaper and monitors, touch screens. So it could be a virtual room uh, very well, and, and also a physical room with the four walls. But when you think about the wall as uh, the four walls to, to, to construct your own uh, obeya. And then back to the simple rules, see together, put the people in the room so they can see the same thing, act together, do experiments, and then uh, learn together and create, create more knowledge. So when we come to this Vinicola Arno, which is a, a mid-sized, high quality wine, uh, winery here in, uh, in our neighborhood in Piemonte in Italy, northern, uh, northern part of Italy, which is, you know, uh, you have a Barbera, Barbaresco, you have a lot of very, very high 
high quality wine and they they are um, uh, friends of us we started some years ago uh, with the winery and they have um, very very good grapes but they also have starting up with an organization to import and export uh, wine from Piemonte to all over the world so this very ambitious uh, high quality project so the first wall uh, for the winery we will challenge them, what is the line of sight you have to have you know where you are and where you want to be so this is the vision and the mission wall and you have to make a picture of that and as we have been discussing many times in the, when we discuss um, system thinking it's, a, it's a men, the vision is a mental model it's, it's a picture you have in your head and it has to be shared and it has to be a part of your your heart and your brain and to develop this uh, line of sight it's uh, it's a lot of sometimes it's a lot of hard work but you have to visualize it because when you go into the obey room you start walking from from uh, right to left and then the first you see is uh, why are we here what is the aim of uh, this room this learning <clears throat> and then of course we have to look at the capacity systems which is uh, in in the winery it's the business system it's agronomic systems it's social interactive system it's eco development it's a lot of a lot of things uh, when you talk about the binary. So you have to do systems mapping. For example, what start with a question, what makes um, splendid red wine or white wine? There's a lot of players. And we have been doing a um, uh, walk to the, the winery uh, and to, to go and see and see that we have a farms you have terroir which is the name of uh, the, the the soil which is which is what makes a good good uh, wine is the is the special soil is in this area it used to be bottom of the sea so it's a lot of a uh, lot of uh, minerals that makes very very good taste for the wine <clears throat> but then you need the right uh, grape for the right uh, right soil you have the farmers you have the producers, you have the municipalities, which is very important, uh, the sindaku, the mayor, uh, the local interaction, you have the government, which is very, very bureaucratic and very strict here in Italy. You have climate issues, you have chemistry issues, you have a biodiversity, you have a lot of things. So it's, it's, it's a complex system. And then what we have to do when we come to the Vinicola Arno Obea, we have to try to see what is, how does the challenge look like? What kind of what, what kind of distinction, systems, relation, and perspective uh, we should map with the, the Vinicola Arno. So this is the system wall. So you have the first wall is the line of sight wall. Second wall is the systems wall. And then um, we work on how to understand systems as Derek and Laura uh, has said many times, spend more time on understanding system before you do do you actually you have to understand what what's the the uh, the players what is the simple rule, underlying rules what's the underlying structure and so forth so it's, there's a lot of work in the system wall and then it comes to the match now uh, before we come to that this of course you have an um, uh, important part of when we talk about lean there's a religion in lean and uh, uh, of course you start with obey you you put all everything you visualize everything visualize problems, surface problems, but the religion is go and see uh, what the Japanese call gen, Genba Genbuchu, which is real things, real places. And uh, so what we are going to do in a, in, as a combination with this Vinicola Arno, Obea, we are going to do systematic observations, uh, interviews with the uh, key players, uh, observations in the in the winery in the in the in the cellar, uh, observations even with the with all the players in as I mentioned uh, earlier. And then you come to what kind of matches are we going to win? What kind of obstacles do we have to overcome when we have a picture of the 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 system of the system relations and and the, uh, all the underlying structure which is impacting on the quality of the wine and the business and the, uh, what we're going to, to achieve as our mission and vision. And this is the, 
uh, a lot of continuous improvement cycles. So you put up the match wall. Uh, I call it the match wall because it's, you, you, you talk about um, uh, playing in, in, in soccer and football, as we call it here in Europe, uh, or in, in American football, so everything is a match. So you put up the matches and you put, put a, a special wall uh, for what kind of matches you're going to fight for this year or the next year. This is very, very important. And in, in the lean language, it's called the Hoshin planning or Hoshin country, which is a dynamic, dynamic in, involvement, uh, dialogue-based uh, type of strategy uh, policy deployment process. And then it comes finally to the learning wall. And the learning wall is where you actually practice uh, the learning dialogue. You practice uh, uh, using the SRP. Uh, you practice uh, to, to analyze the, the, the pictures that you have on the wall. You visualize with, with colors what kind of challenge you are going to, to make. And then the decision in, in the OBEA is what kind of experiments are we going to perform? And then we have starting to use some cards, we card with two, two sides, and then we just use the card to practice the learning. And then we ask question, what is the next, uh, what is the target situation? What is the present situation? What can we see? What is the obstacles that we can hinder us from reaching the future state? Uh, what to do next? What is the next experiment? And how fast can we learn from that experiment? How fast can we adapt uh, the mental model to the reality? Not 100% because that is not impossible, but we can slowly by slowly adapt our mental models uh, uh, closer and closer to, to the real world. So then when we sum up uh, the OBEA, we can talk about what is OBEA and what is it not. So uh, my definition of uh, system thinking OBEA is a virtual or a physical room for solving cross-functional and cross-disciplinary problems with system thinking. This is my definition. So, and we can separate it, what is it not? Because it's a lot of all other techniques, tablet meetings, a lot of uh, things that are going on, but this is not an OBEA. OBEA is a virtual and physical room for cross-functional and cross-disciplinary problem solving with systems thinking. So what is OBEA part of? Of course, it's a part of uh, a CAS, complex adaptive system. It's a part of the learning community. It's a part of a learning organization. So this is a one, not the only one, but it's one of the uh, critical tools uh, and methods that we are using to increase the uh, adaptiveness of organization. And then what is the relations? So OBEA is uh, related to digital dashboards. It's, uh, you can use the wiki, for example. You can uh, uh, combine uh, OBEA with what's called the learning plaza, which in, in Europe, every city has a plaza. That's a place where you are in the market. You go and see people. You go and take a glass of wine. A cup of coffee, so we can call it the learning plaza, which is a social, uh, social heart of the city, and you can also combine OBEA to a type of training and people teaming, uh, people development type of processes. And then you can see what kind of perspectives. Uh, what does OBEA, uh, for example, R and D OBEA, or uh, we have been discussing to introduce OBEA for football clubs or soccer clubs. What kind of, how, how would an OBEA look like from a, from a sports club type of, uh, of um, point of view? How could we develop it into the, a city or a municipality a point of view? Uh, what could be um, OBEA for developing a neighborhood? So this is, could be interesting in experiments to, to perform in the future, to in, encourage uh, students, uh, pupils, uh, people in, in all kinds of organizations to start developing their own OBEA. So uh, this is, um, this is a, a picture of, uh, from uh, 
you know, it's a it's a kind of farming process. It's you are you're making uh, you are fertilizing and you are making a good uh, type of knowledge creation process. It's like thinking as a farmer, and then you have to work with the quality of the soil. The quality of the soil is determining what kind of of uh, outcome you get in in the food production or or uh, preve preventing the neighbor. Uh, the environment and so forth. So, um, I had some uh, some uh, tests on using this um, uh, now high tech uh, touch screens, which is was absolutely fantastic because it, you just uh, you can take up all all kinds of information. You you can do the drawing just on the board, and it, this was uh, interesting. So that this will be the future of the Obea will be digital digital Obea. And here is uh, finally uh, some some links uh, I'll share share with you. And my idea is to make a kind of pamphlet or, or um, uh, a book to how to set up uh, Obeya with some examples from those uh, action learning experiments I mentioned to you. So I think I have been um, speed, had a high speed. So because I see I have some uh, minutes left on my uh, 30 minutes, but we can maybe use those minutes to uh, discussion and questions and uh, answers. That's great. Thank you so much. That was a great presentation. I, there are questions coming in from the audience that I will share with you, but um, Let's get started with, um, I think the biggest thing that people are wondering about, and there's a few things coming up, is you know if you think about Obeya and you think about VMCL and DSRP, the thing they have in common, it seems like from your talk are simple, simple rules. Can you talk a little bit more about the simple rules of designing those learning spaces? Yeah, I, you, you see, because, one of the challenges is that, uh, especially maybe in uh, European and uh, American countries, we're used to write sentences. Mm -hmm. and the written way of communicating is very, very limited. If you go to, to the Japanese and Chinese, they have the kanji, which is science, it's pictures. Mm -hmm. So I think one of the one of the challenges I have been facing when we are teaching this obey and, and visual management uh, stuff is to encourage people to start um, to start your drawing. Mm -hmm. And you can start with the kitchen table, you can start with the with the post-its, you can use a lot of tools and techniques. And it's it's uh, what Deming called you have to restore the joy of learning. It's, it's like you know, we talk about the kids uh, earlier today at the the kids can be uh, develop this uh, capacity to be system thinkers, mm -hmm. but without practice, they will not uh, they will not be a good system thinkers. So, so uh, when I talk about the obeya and the developing of the obeya, is to start make your own drawings. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, we have one one uh, students in in one of my courses. She's working on obeya for cleaning houses. So they are, they are an organization in the municipality. They are cleaning all uh, schools, kindergartens, technical department offices all, all over the uh, municipality. And then she says, where's my line of sight? Where am I am today and where I want to be in the future? So then she has to, and I said, you have to start, make a drawing of what you think what should be the future look like. Mm -hmm. and, and we take pictures of, Right. of uh, satisfied employees, uh, uh, proud employees, whatever. And then you see what is the situation, what kind of problems are we facing today and how it look like in, in, in uh, three years from now, for example. So I don't know if it's a good answer, but I think it's very, very important is to encourage people to actually start making drawings. Yeah, yeah. Yep, and I understand the reasoning behind that. So I have another question uh, from somebody in the audience who's a process facilitator, and they're trying to picture what their job would be, you know, directly in making Obeo work. So, for example, what does it look like in terms of sessions, activities? Who do you? How do you decide who's involved? I guess they want a little more detail on the steps in the process. They they are sold on it, but they want to know sort of how you actually do it at the nitty gritty. 
Yeah, a normal OBEA meeting is not a long meeting with a lot of discussions. It's a, a very well prepared. So you, when you come into the meeting, you can all the information is updated. So the different players, engineers, teachers, professors, uh, students, they have updated information. So that's a, that's number one. So when you come into the room, you can you see what you see, what you need to see. Uh, so that's number one. The number two is, of course, those should be in the OBEA is people that can impact on the results. For example, in, in, we talk about cars safe by itself, but we talk about, for example, um, um, human growth OBEA, which is um, the, uh, from from the municipality. You need maybe in, involve the, the parents, mm -hmm. the teachers, uh, the guards in the schools. You have to have a lot of players so that absolutely can impact on the results of what the aim of the OBEA. So, and a normal OBEA meeting should be not more than, as I think, uh, in my experience, uh, 50, um, 30 minutes is more than enough. It's more that you have a regular meeting and be between the meetings, you have experiments, activities going on. I see. So you're constantly getting feedback from the experiments back into the process. Yeah, and then we, what in in uh, in the lean uh, world we called about the uh, they talked about the kata, which is um, kata is, is uh, how to to do uh, repeat did they do some 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 experiments. It's like in, in karate you learn the, the basic movements. Yeah. But the kata when you have a challenge you you, you split up uh, this challenge or or hindering or or uh, into many 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 learning cycles. So. What is, what is the dynamic of uh, a good uh, OBEA process is that you do a lot of experiments, uh, action learning between the OBEA meetings. I see. Well, and the other thing, uh, another audience member was wondering, can you, is, do, uh, you know how uh, you can do live scribing or graphic facilitation? Are those processes that can support OBEA? Are they sort of built into OBEA? How would you characterize that? Yeah, when it comes to the system wall, you can use any any type of uh, you can use videos, you can use uh, pictures, you can use uh, graphic the, how to to present the data. You can use all kinds of visual tools. But I think it's very important that you have a when you go uh, work on on a system, you you start up in the helicopter to see how it is looked like, what is the overall structure, and then you decide we need to go more into detail in this part of the uh, system for. Talk about the winery, for example, the relation between uh, weather forecast and how to how to treat the, the vineyard. So yeah. we, because that's a very, very important challenge for, for many farmers, for example. So mm -hmm. then you go uh, from the helicopter uh, over overall uh, helicopter view and more into the details using systems mapping and system thinking. So um i think there's no limitation in, in in the tools here you can make but you have to have the main structure of the vmcl the four yeah. walls the line of sight this uh, the system wall the match wall and the learning wall right and when you're i mean you're, you know you're all over the world doing these kinds of things what are the places where you have resistance or the challenges that that you face with organizations and getting them to not only just understand this process, but value it and, and want to uh, adopt it for their own thinking. Uh, I think it's the same as uh, you all are facing because uh, it's like this, this two uh, uh, cattle uh, watching this uh, crocodile. <laughs> or I think that is a crocodile. One has the thinking of the crocodile. and But if you have the cattle that uh, absolutely believe that this is uh, timber, uh, so of course, so so um, you always have to have some discussions on what is the actually uh, challenge to 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 adapt to the reality when you look at the data, and in organizational life, for example, it's a lot of professional um, fights between the different uh, type of uh, professionals, mm -hmm. and these professionals look at uh, they see that this is uh, only uh, this is the only truth, and the other one says that this is the only truth. So I think it's is to overcome uh, one of the obstacles to overcome is to make people, uh, as Derek explained this morning, uh, you have to uh, acknowledge that you have the mental model 
is not the reality. It's just a mental model. Right. But when you have that, um, cross that um, uh, obstacle, it's much easier to see that I, I can, we can cooperate in the obey room uh, to see the reality from different perspectives, from different type of skill uh, perspective and so forth. So there's a very much often you, you, you meet a cultural uh, challenge mm -hmm. in all, all over the world. People are people. Yes, no, that's true. Uh, some of the other some of the other things that are coming through from the audience, Brianna, are um, it seems implied from your presentation that this process of, of OBEA and the way that you've incorporated sort of the principles of VMCL and DSRP are teaching systems thinking. Can you talk about how how you how the configuration of information or the way that things are done in, in the OBEA process are actually building systems thinking skills? Yeah, the, the simple answer is practice. But um, um, we had an experiment uh, in this municipality I talked about. It's about 60 leaders. Mm -hmm. uh, so I introduced the DSRP. And I introduced it so they had a card, one card for D, one card for S, one card for, you know. So they could, when they had a discussion on things, they took a couple of cards and said, what is the distinction? And what is the uh, part whole? And what is the relations? And what, you know. But what my, uh, one of my uh, learning and my, the failure actually I did because I had to adapt to the, the reality because I was starting up on the, on the very ab abstract level. So it's very, very, it's not so easy to uh, to learn uh, system thinking on talking about childhood or, or um, farming system or, or uh, you know, in big uh, up, in, up in the um, abstract, uh, high abstraction. You need to go down to uh, my, my previous uh, uh, sensei, uh, Soshi Shiba, he said, cow, when you talk about agriculture property, you, you go down up from the agriculture property down to the farming and down to the cattle and down to the cow. Mm -hmm. So when he said to me, he said cow, he was Japanese. <laughs> you know, very, very strong, uh, very, so not, not the name of the cow, is that is, a, uh, but, but yeah. the cow as a, so when you try to work on the, on the system thinking, you need, need to go down in abstraction level to practice, uh, to look at from the different uh, part of, uh, of the cognitive, functions that we are we are born with i see i see so i guess um the one question i think you sort of another question that i think you've answered in this question is <clears throat> do people need to understand systems thinking prior to the obey a process or does it come through and it sounds like it's both that you yeah, introduce it, it and they learn it through it <laughs> in my opinion system thinking is so so easy because when you come into the obeya, you just ask the questions. Yeah. What is the distinction? What is the you know? And and I don't I don't think there's any any obstacle for people to learn system thinking because it's it's like uh, Derek explained. You you need only five minutes, ten minutes. Yeah. Maybe maybe less, because yeah. it's so common sense. But of course, if you practice system thinking, as I mentioned now, uh, on a very high uh, abstraction level, it's it's. It makes uh, the brain makes uh, very complicated. So, so then you 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 have to go down and see what when when you look at a uh, a specific uh, idea or an item or a thing, mm -hmm. you have to to take up the cards and and discuss uh, and try to adapt using the cognitive function in in DSRP. Yeah, and this is a dynamic process. And then I think it's. Um, um, I think the, the magic powder here is the visualization. So when it's, uh, people can see the same things on, on the wall screen or, or a digital screen, they can see the same thing. Right, right. That's good. Um, there are a couple of other things people are asking about in relation to um, Lean and uh, somebody was wondering how is Obea similar with Scrum and Sprints and, and design thinking? How do you see those things similar or different from Obea? Everything is the same. Everything's the same. That's a good Everything point. is the same because Scrum is just a methodology and the design thinking is just a methodology and the principles, of course. And then, uh, for example, when you design a new product or a new service, 
So using design thinking in the obeya. So, so, so design thinking is, is system thinking, just uh, trying to understand uh, how to solve a problem. And then of course you use a lot of methodology in the Scrum. You, uh, there's a lot of um, Six Sigma, there's a lot of things uh, out there. So in my opinion, it's, um, it's um, Obeya is just the, the room where you are practicing mm -hmm. uh, those things. Right. And, and to Kurt's comment, the magic is when like people, everybody can literally see it. So you're getting them on the same page and then you're facilitating using the common language of systems and systems thinking and VMCL. And so that's how people are moving through it. A couple of people were wondering, um, could you just take a minute to describe the four walls that you talked about, describe them some, uh, you know, I think there was the match wall, the learning wall, but they can't remember all four. And they wanted to hear how each one kind of lines up with systems thinking or the loop or the feedback or anything like that. Yeah, you can imagine you go into a room uh, and this room is your learning cave mm -hmm. and the learning cave to solve a wicked problem, uh, something. It's in a school problem, it's a dropout in school, it could be anything. So then you start with the line of sight. You need to, where are we and where are we going to? And you, maybe you can split it up to in, 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 in stages, but you have to have a vision. Uh, and you have to, to visualize that vision and you can use the same um, how to see acid tests that you have in the, in the, in the book, uh, Flock, Not Clock, uh, Laura. Mm -hmm. so then just check. So this, this is the first uh, wall you, you start to create. And then, of course, the second wall is the system. What kind of system, what kind of capacity systems do you have to uh, work uh, to understand and improve to reach the vision? And then when you have this answer to that, you go to the third wall, uh, and that is the matches. What kind of obstacles, what kind of trouble are we going to, to, to solve, to understand, to do, use DSRP to understand uh, more in depth, to understand the underlying structure. Uh, and then of course, when you have that understanding, you have a lot of experiments to do, and that is the fourth wall. What kind of action learning do we have to do before mm -hmm. this meeting in the Obey room to the next meeting in the Obey room? So it's a walk. And of course, when you have practice for a while, you don't spend time on the on the uh, vision mission wall because you this is this is uh, okay. But you maybe you go back to the system wall because you have to do more systems mapping, mm -hmm. and then you have to do some other prioritization in in the match uh, wall. And when I use wall, it's, it's, it's not wall, it could be uh, digital uh, pictures also, of course. So, and then when you come to the, to the, the, the learning part of uh, the wall, it's a lot of, lot of plan, do, study, act, uh, learning cycles, like uh, Derek explained this morning. Um, it's, it's a dynamic process over and over and over again to do, to, to do action learning. And for, for people in the audience, then I think what that would mean is that that learning wall is the one that connects to sort of the systems thinking loop that Derek talked about this morning. And that, um, and we haven't talked a lot yet about VMCL and the systems leadership, although we're gonna be doing that this afternoon, but you're saying the line of sight is more like the vision where we're headed. And then the system wall is more like, what are the capacities we have in place to accomplish what we wanna do? And then the matches are like, the problems you need to solve in order to to solve to actually get get some solutions to the problem is that a fair summary for the people? Yeah, that's good summary. And uh, I think if you if you take Obea, the future Obea meetings in the municipalities in in all kinds of organizations, compared to what is happening today, where people are sitting and debating, endless they spend the whole life in in discussing things, and they are wasting their whole life because they have. The learning process is so extremely slow, and I see my my two boys. They are researchers, both of them, and they are spending so much time in waste and not research. So I said to them, they should set up an obeya uh, and invite the different researchers in the around the world into that room and work 
according to the basic principle of uh, the MCL and system thinking. Great. All right, I know we're, we're winding down, but I have two more quick questions that people are just dying to get the answers to. One is, um, can, can you provide examples of mindsets or ways of thinking that actually render OBEA a dysfunctional process? Not my question, but somebody thinks it's, they wanna know. I, 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 don't, I didn't understand the question, uh, Laura. But I think what they're trying to get at is, uh, it, it says literally like, are there ways of thinking that actually make OBEA not possible? Like using OBEA as a process not possible? Yeah, I think, um, for example, if you are um, uh, working on, because it, you know, um, religion, for example, is, is a belief. Mm -hmm. It's a way to frame people are, most people in, in the world are having uh, one or another religion, but, but religion is just thing you believe. You don't know what happened, for example, when uh, we talk about the Palestine 2000 years ago, we have some ideas, but we, so, so I think, when you are very, very far from scientific thinking, obey is impossible. Uh, then you, you should be in the church and, and pray, not in obey. <laughs> so obey is for is for scientific thing, scientific thinking. So that's a very, very clear distinction. That's I don't say it's it's wrong uh, to be in the church or, or right, but but uh, this is a very, very important uh, distinction yeah. Uh, yeah. to make. Good, good. All right, and the last uh, question is an easy question, which is um, people wanna know how they can contact you and if they can learn more about um, the Institute for Learning Organizations, can they join it? How can they interact with you more specifically? Yeah, they can They can con contact me anytime. Um, uh, my email is, uh, I can put it up in the chat here. Uh, yeah, and uh, you know what? I also have some articles, so I can share a lot of information. and. As um, I may mention uh, earlier, we are working on together also with the with the UN and the director to make some some material on this uh, yeah. this uh, gin tonic innovation that we are working on. Yes. So, well, and one thing for uh, the audience uh, and for you, Bjarna, is after the conference, we will have the opportunity for each speaker to post their contact information, any papers, any of the things that they think might be of more interest to the audience. But, yes, absolutely. I'm happy right. to share. Uh, and this is a uh, very important, as I, I think I opened it with uh, this, uh, this positive pandemic, because the pandemic is, you need two things. You need the virus or, or, or uh, bacteria which is in this case, a positive virus. And that is example of good thinking, good ideas. And the, the second thing you need systematically is spreaders. Yes. Then you can start, uh, then things can happen dynamically yeah. in the, in the and, and be actually a change maker. Yes. And I think that's a great note to end your session on and to uh, thank you so much for your time. I love the idea of we're gonna spread better thinking. We're all gonna be agents of spreading that, that message and getting better thinking in the right places. Um, thank you so much for doing this. And again, happy, happy, happy birthday. We send you great love and wish you thank a happy- Thank you very much.